no matter how far advanced we get with Squarespace and all the updates and the new versions that they rolled out, some people are just pine for the old days. And I do get let's probably one or two requests every month from a potential client saying, oh, I want to build on the Brine template or I, I don't know. They've all got funny names. I can't remember. Well, I can only, <laughs> can only remember one. But basically, they've seen a really specific template from old Squarespace and they want to go with it. And they, they have no idea how to access it because now if you go onto Squarespace, you will only see new templates which, which aren't actually templates. They're basically just... I call them jump off points from the same template, which is just a blank slate, essentially. But with the old version of Squarespace, these were templates. They had bespoke elements to them that weren't available in other templates. So you could have one that was built specifically for photographers or like specifically for e-commerce, you know, whatever it was. And some people just really like them. They like the way that they work. They like the look of them, you know. They don't want the new stuff. They just want the good old, the good old days. And so I'm going to show you how to get there. It's really, really simple. It's literally just one URL and then you can select whatever you want. So if we go on over to the screen, you can see I'm at squarespace.com forward slash templates, forward slash browse, forward slash V7, forward slash all dash templates. So I'll put the link to this below. Um, and now I'm out of breath from saying forward slash a million times. But anyway, once you get on this, you can see, you know, you can browse by or filter by musicians and brands, restaurants, events, etc., etc. Then underneath, you can see all of the templates. So for instance, if we look at Pursuit, you can see that's got like page markers down the side. That wasn't available on, you know, a lot of others. Uh, then you have the scroll icon here, which I get a lot of requests to do on 7 with code. And then what else have we got? What else have we got? I think there's one at the top, like this. Uh, so clay, clay's a very popular one. Um, just for the setup like this with the grid, again, very popular. Tons of different stuff. Anyway, you can choose any that you wish from here. So they're all still available on Squarespace, which is great. You know, they're, they're trying to cater to everyone, even though they kind of want to push everyone towards the newer stuff. You can browse this, you can pick one. So let's say I like the look of Thorn. I'm gonna start with Thorn and then that is gonna take me into the website. There we go, start. All the seven um, editors, you know, you go into website, you've got pages and you, you've got the, I mean, personally, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like it whatsoever, but I understand why people would. So. That's a Squarespace 7 website. It's still available, believe it or not. And you can access it via the link that was at the start of the video and will be beneath the video too. So if you found that useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, not on Squarespace 7, on Squarespace 7.1, then you can get in touch using the links in the description.